Good evening, this is Nelson's Home Improvement with me. Today we'll be learning how to master the art of painting and cutting with tools, much like these you see before you. Here are some tools. These are nails. These are very specific types of nails called screws. This is actually not a tool at all. This is actually a paint stirrer, but we'll use it. Today I have a very important guest. It's actually not that important. Phoenix. Hi, Phoenix. Hi. What do you think about... Uh, I think it's delicious, and I would eat it any day. Well, Phoenix, today we're going to be painting stuff and constructing other stuff using tools. Oh, boy. What kind of stuff, Nelson? We'll be working on painting things and is this you? cutting other things that, that's with the help of marvelous tools. Tools are pretty much the uh, tools are pretty much the they're the tools. Yeah. If construction was a cake, tools would be the tools. I, I, actually, I read the candles. Because I'm, I'm bright. Like Workers can be candles. They're, yeah. Actually, well, I have the frosting because I'm so sweet. Well, now you're talking about the candles and the frosting. Frostings are sweet, yeah. Well, sometimes I you're supposed you can to get, get a candles. tart one with sour. What? Yeah. You eat the candles. Yeah, they're sweet. I, I heard it was, uh, it was plastic. It's good for. All right, let's get to let's get to work. I think that's why I'm so smart. All right, Phoenix. Looks like we got our work cut out for us today. What did we use? A pair of scissors. We have ourselves a uh, a pretty a relatively new, I would say. Uh, we got a Bradford White uh, water heater, and we got a call, a call saying to fix it and paint it. They want a new look. But if they want it painted. And I said that we can we can do that for you. We can we can do that for you. We can we can. So first, I'm gonna need my toolbox. Where is your toolbox? A man is only as good as the toolbox that he has with him. This is my toolbox. It's, There's actually it's nothing black. in it, but it's, it's really black. sturdy and strong. It's black. And relatively light. And so that makes it a good toolbox. I'm wow. pretty sure that if I used it to hold stuff, it would do a very good job. But that is my toolbox. You can what use it as a stand to put your other tools on it that you actually have. What's next? What's next? First, you're going to apply a primer coat. Can I? Can I? Right now, Phoenix has the primer tools, and he will be applying a thin coat. It's so thin you can't even see it. You can't. You can't. You can't see it. It almost looks like he's not even touching it. That's what you want. Now you're gonna see he's gonna go in a in a circle motion. He's he's gonna yeah. Well, he's gonna be touching the water heater, but yeah. You gotta paint up here too. This is a te this is a technique that we use called. Um, it's well. It's it's. Uh, I don't want to say too much about the technique, but it's basically the circle glaze project technique because we did it on a project. So pretty much yeah, you're gonna a get a thin brush. coat right about here, and then as Phoenix said, you're gonna get a paintbrush, and you're just gonna you're just gonna whisk that in, 
and you'll see um, he's going to apply a little bit of it to me just so that I can get a feel for what the tank is going through. You want to you want to feel that. You don't you don't just oh let's get let's put some let's slap some 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 coder on here. Oh oh it doesn't it doesn't feel anything. Okay, it burns. It's burning my skin. Ow! This plastic bag. This is unnecessary. Okay, I don't know why they have this. This is what we do. We find out what's wrong, and we fix it. I'll take this back to the lab. So now that the thin gauze is on. Actually, it's not on yet. I'm not done. Now that the thin gauze is done, we're gonna let it sit, and we'll come back. But Gabe, Wait. but Gabe, how can it sit? It doesn't have legs. Okay, there you have it. We have now finished a thin glaze of paint primer. Give it that nice new look. Um, the thing, the thing about this paint is, it looks brand spanking new. Very it's acidic, so you see, it's it's, it's shrunk a, maybe a couple feet. A couple as, feet. That's due to the acidic, the corrosive properties. It's it's expected in this kind of make that you have. But you know, it's just the price you have to pay for a good looking house. I'm and telling you. what I was doing with the it's hammer beautiful. was I was applying these two ridges here, and this is for birds to rest on. Uh, birds uh, fly with their wings, but they can't fly forever. So what I did was I installed these nice rings. Maybe we can get a zoom in on this. Uh, Phoenix actually did the top one. I That's did the why it's one. tiny. Cause yeah. I saw it. Yeah. But well, okay, you might also notice this little hole here. See, we took the liberty of installing our very own pencil sharpener into the top here. As yeah, you can of see. the water heater. Cause you and know, what you do is oh, let me let me check out the water heater. Let me write down my, my my notes my notes for the for the bird patterns. Cause but you're Gabe, a bird watcher. But Gabe, and it, the pencil's not sharpened. What are you oh, gonna do? I don't know. Uh, I wasn't actually I wasn't actually sharpening a pencil, right there. I was just pretending to sharpen a pencil. But it was it was so it's real to me. Basically, here's your pencil. Oh, that's and it's nice. and that's it's what, it's pretend. Okay. There's there you have it, handy handyman Gabe with uh, with just another fix. It's just what we do, you know. It's just it's just what we do, and uh, there you have it. Phoenix, do you have any closing any closing things to say? All right, there you have it. Just just a wonderful team. I mean, get out there, build something.